Perk is an exciting new venture at Penn Medicine. It's an attempt to bring together people from disparate disciplines who are all interested in furthering the study of people who have acute injuries. Park provides a collaborative space for these different divisions and departments to come together and really develop research interdisciplinary collaborative research projects so that we can capture and investigate and hopefully improve the outcomes of these patients. Our goal is to develop and promote acute care research. And by acute care research, we do not think about geography. That is, we don't think about the emergency department, we don't think about the ICU. What we think of as Penn Medicine studying time-sensitive unplanned conditions, such as stroke, cardiac arrest, traumatic brain injury, sepsis, serious medical problems that need more research. In the neurosciences, there are many acute, severe types of injury that Park will help us to study. Uh, first and foremost is traumatic brain injury, which is epidemic not only in this country but across the world and really is in dire need of novel therapies and discoveries of mechanisms of injury. Trauma research is really difficult to perform because the patients come in, they're critically injured, they're potentially dying, and there is no way that you can get consent from the patient, and often family is nowhere to be found. And it's not like a research project or a research study in which you have the opportunity to meet a patient, talk about the risks and the benefits, and then enroll them in the study. PERC will allow us to have much better coordination across Penn Medicine departments to perform very difficult cutting-edge research in these conditions and hopefully help our ability to save lives. It provides for a comprehensive infrastructure that brings together people of various backgrounds, conserves on resources, yet allows us to be more efficient and accelerate discovery. I think PARC represents the very best of the future of Penn Medicine. The dean, when he arrived, put together a strategic plan and it called for innovation, impact, and integration. And when three of our great young physician scientists came forward and said, we have an idea, we want to break down the silos between our departments and work together to advance science, it fit right into what we've been talking about. Penn Medicine has been a remarkable supporter and advocate for our work. We've been very grateful for the support of Dean Jameson and others and the Penn corporate side as well. Park has really required their advocacy and we've also really appreciated their advice as we've developed this program. What has also been very gratifying is since we have established Park, the feedback has been tremendous. Investigators in different departments have approached us wanting to join our efforts. We have already submitted numerous grants that have written Park in as an infrastructure to do cutting edge research. The capability of really doing um, deep dive bioinformatics and the ability to do assays and to really look at mechanism really defines PARC. It is really a nice marriage between clinical and translational research, which doesn't exist anywhere else in the country. For one, it's allowed us to make high profile recruits to our faculty. Dr. Ramon Diaz recently joined Penn Medicine and he is a world expert in traumatic brain injury. He's very excited to take part in PARC because it'll allow him to uh, study traumatic brain injury in a way that really is impossible in most institutions. In bringing together people who study various forms of acute injury, we're fostering collaboration, innovation, and accelerating discovery so that we can help people who have all manner of acute injury. And we hope we can really contribute to the mission of Penn Medicine by developing research programs that will serve both our clinical needs as well as our needs for discovery. And knowing that we have the capability now to sort of have that infrastructure where if someone comes with a good idea that makes biochemical sense or has good supporting animal and, and basic science research behind it, we can actually go to those trauma patients now and have an intervention and hopefully change uh, the outcome in many of our patients and save their lives. It's very exciting.